What is up everybody, it is Brendan and we are back with more WWE 2K14 Universe Mode and this week we are playing Main Event and SmackDown. We're going to be doing two matches for you guys. I know some of you guys have been requesting some longer shows and we have Main Event, we're not really using it that well so we'll give it a match this time around. So first up, Cody Rhodes versus Antonio Cesaro. We're actually going to play that matchup. I think uh, that should be a cool matchup to play. Daniel Bryan will take on Roman Reigns and Alberto Del Rio will take on Jim Hall. So let's go ahead and play Cody Rhodes versus Antonio Cesaro. Um, I felt as though, look, I've got main event, I haven't played it yet, and I actually really want to try out the arena, I want to see what the arena looks like, I haven't seen it yet, so, um, if you haven't seen it yet, so this is well, this is us seeing it together, so, um, I think it's a good, good um, idea to keep main event in the show, even though we don't play it all the time, but if you guys want to keep seeing an, an extra match on the show from main event for me, then by all means I can uh, set that up, I might actually start booking main event shows if, uh, you guys want to see that more often, but if not, I can just keep doing SmackDown. So it um, doesn't matter, but uh, for now, we are playing Main Event, and Cody Rhodes versus Antonio Cesaro. One thing that Main Event probably uh, offers is really no kind of storyline um, continuation. Um, Cesaro and Cody Rhodes, two guys both in SmackDown, and they're both... Well, Cesaro's booked in with the tag team division at the moment, but as well as that, we have Cody Rhodes... He's been uh, up there, he's had a couple of shots for the Intercontinental Championship in a few pay-per-views, but he just hasn't been able to get it done. And Cesaro, he a former United States Champion, you know, he battled away with Santino for, for weeks and weeks and weeks. And now he's uh, been traded over to SmackDown, so he's a fully-fledged SmackDown guy. So we could see Cody Rhodes and Antonio Cesaro battle it out more often for the Intercontinental Championship in the near future. So this should be an exciting match, and probably just a matchup to see where we're kind of at in our Intercontinental Championship scene because uh, there's a few guys that are up there and it probably could get an opportunity in the coming weeks after Wade Barrett and Cody, uh, Kofi Kingston um, perhaps have their matchup at Nada Champions. So exciting stuff ahead, exciting stuff planned and I'm um, looking forward to it. So we have uh, Antonio Cesaro looking as though he's taken down uh, Cody Rose. I am playing as Cesaro this time. I felt as though, you know, I do play matches, so if you're thinking, well, you don't, you never play the matches, you just let the computer play it. Actually, I do play most of the matches, just any uh, championship matches or championship-orientated uh, matches, like a contendership or, you know, whatever, potential contendership match, um, I don't play them. So, I think I like the main event arena. I really like the uh, the main event logo. The, the arena I had on W13 was actually pretty good, but uh, this is obviously way better to have the, the legitimate thing. But, um, yeah, it's like I said, if you guys want me to play main event more, you know, just uh, let me know in the comments down below. And uh, I really do appreciate it. I know I said there's a lot, but I appreciate all, all the likes you've been, guys have been giving me. So, um, oh, Cody, uh, Cody Rhodes oh, just kicks out at one. So, I appreciate all the likes you guys have been giving me. So, if you guys can continue all that support, I uh, would really appreciate that by dropping a like on the video. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to the to the channel yet, you gotta go and do it, man. I mean, we've hit over 800 subscribers, probably 850 plus by the time I get this up. Hopefully, as a Cesaro looking to finish off Cody Rhodes. Oh, with a big uppercut! Oh, that's gotta be it. Here we go. One, two. Uh, get out of here, Cody Rhodes loses. Didn't actually. The finish is actually not the neutralizer. It's a big uppercut, which is I don't know. It's pretty cool. Um, are they adding in the Cesaro swing into the game? I think they might be. I don't know if they're having the move DLC pack. They might be adding the Cesaro swing. But anyways, quick little matchup. Just kind of showcasing the main event arena. Just showing you guys a bit of main event footage. Because I haven't used main event. And I felt as I look. It's about time I freaking used it. I mean, I think I played one main event match on W13 as well. So this is my... Um, compulsory main event match, that one main event match I gotta play, <laughs> um, I've done it, so Cesaro wins, and um, I think I probably played it around the, the, the second or third or fourth episode as well, so I don't know, but early on in the show as well, but anyways, we've done that match, and now we move on to the Smackdown show, first of all we're gonna check out who, who were the other winners on main event, so let's go and do that, as uh, we see... So we had Cody Rhodes, he lost against Cesaro, but uh, our next matchup saw 
Daniel Bryan versus D Roman Reigns, but Roman Reigns beating Daniel Bryan and Alberto Del Rio, well, of course, he's going to pick off Jinder Mahal in the main event. But anyways, here is the SmackDown card. So we have Wade Barrett has The Miz in his corner, taking on R-Truth, who has Kofi Kingston in his corner. That'll kick us off. But first of all, just check out the rankings before we get there. And um, we have Chris Jericho, of course, number one contender, big show up there as well. Swagger up there as well. So some surprises there. Um, Wade Barrett, I think he deserves a rematch against Kofi Kingston. So we can pretty much book that in at uh, the Nine of Champions pay-per-view. And we also see the Real Americans are up there in the tag team division. Oksana, Layla for the Divas division. So good times ahead as we see Wade Barrett with The Miz. Arturo Kofi Kingston, like I said before. Obviously, Wade Barrett wants Kofi Kingston's championship. The Miz wants R-Truth's championship. So it's just kind of swapping the two. Asia Lee takes on Natalia. Sheamus will take on Del Rio. Ryback will take on Christian. The Real Americans will take on the primetime players. That should be an interesting match. That could uh, potentially determine the number one contenders for the Tag Team Championships. And our main event, this is going to be huge. The Big Show will take on Chris Jericho. Now, that will be a very important matchup to see where we're at for the World Heavyweight Championship, which we haven't really focused on that much so far on SmackDown, so we might uh, give that a look. So, first of all, our truth defeats Wade Barrett in the opening contest. So, interesting stuff there. Uh, Natalia loses against AJ Lee, so the Divas champion continuing her momentum, getting another win. And Del Rio beats Sheamus. So Sheamus is really going back to the bottom of the barrel. Ryback, a nice win over Christian. And the tag team matchup. Who wins? Who could be the number one contenders? Well, to, if they say the primetime players, they will win again as we go and play the big show versus Chris Jericho. Obviously, we're going to play this one. This is a very important matchup. And, uh,. Chris Jericho coming over from uh, Raw over to SmackDown, and if you know the history behind Chris Jericho, has yet to win the big one. Every time he gets himself very, very close to winning that number one contendership, he just can't quite get it done. So, can he beat? Well, look at look what he has to do now. He has to beat a 450-pound, seven-foot giant in the Big Show. Over on Raw, he was only have to bloody beat uh, CM Punk. So, <laughs> he's got a, lot, a bit of a tough time here on SmackDown. So, coming to SmackDown, there's no easy feat to uh, get himself in the title scene. So, he's going to have to beat the Big Show here if he does want to get to that World Heavyweight Championship matchup against... Well, if he, even if he gets there, he has to take on Mark Henry, 400 pounds. Strong, well, strongest man. So, Chris Jericho has... Good luck to him. You know, just good luck, Chris. You've, you're going to need it if you're going to take out these big guys. But um, speaking of a big, big man, here he comes. And uh, this guy we know. Oh, no, Mark Henry getting a quick one on the Big Show. Well, before the Big Show could even get to the ring, Mark Henry obviously doesn't want the Big Show to win. Probably feels as a look, I can beat Chris Jericho easy. But uh, the Big Show taken down. That'll hurt the Big Show's chances early on here if Chris Jericho can quickly put him away. But Mark Henry coming from behind, just kind of, I'm just saying, look, I'm the big, I'm the big dog around here. I'm just gonna, I get to decide who I want to take on. And it looks as though he wants to, Chris Jericho to uh, get it done. And wait, he's back again. Henry's back, and he wants some more of the Big Show. And this time, Chris Jericho. So don't forget about Jericho, Henry. Uh, he's just sending a message to both of them. The referees just kind of stand there dumbfounded going, well, it's it's a disqualification match, but uh, I'll let it slide. <laughs> oh, man. But uh, big message sent there from Mark Henry. So, looks like Big Show taking it to Chris. No, just Chris Jericho with a nice little reversal there. So we know Big Show and Mark Henry have a strong history together. I mean, you have to go back to SummerSlam where... The Big Show and Sheamus had a matchup against Mark Henry, a triple threat matchup for the World Heavyweight Championship. So, Mark Henry, ever since he won the World Heavyweight Championship by cashing in, Money in the Bank has just been on a roll. He's just really dominating everybody and really, you know, stamping down his authority here on the SmackDown brand. So, it's going to be difficult for anybody, whether it be Chris Jericho or Big Show, to uh, beat Mark Henry. But Big Show obviously feels as though he deserves a matchup against Mark Henry one on one. Um, Big Show lost his championship to Sheamus, of course, at Money in the Bank. And Sheamus, he lost his title to Mark Henry, who cashed in on him just in five days. So, very interesting equation there. And, of course, Sheamus, I think, uh, 
he's just losing everything. So, I mean, he doesn't really, honestly, he doesn't deserve uh, another opportunity. So I think probably the right two guys are in this matchup. I wouldn't call it a number one contenders match, but I think uh, it just gives us an idea of where we're at right now. And um, at the moment, it is uh, back and forth. Both these guys really put up a good fight. And I think uh, Mark Henry, like I said, whoever, whoever wins is going to have their hands full taking on Mark Henry. But uh, I'm sure Mark Henry will not want to take on a man bigger than him. But then again, he's taking on Chris Jericho, a five-time World Heavyweight Champion who knows how to get it done. So that is a difficult equation for Mark Henry. But I think uh, that's why he kind of came in the ring and just sent a message to both of them. He's saying, look, I don't care who wins. I'm going to beat your ass. Beat your ass. <laughs> at the next pay-per-view, so, um, both guys really just, kind of just trying to train wrestling, just kind of just taking their time, nothing real flashy at the moment, but, uh, you know, obviously Big Show, big size advantage here, you'd have to assume, but, and I mean, Chris Jericho, you could argue that he came to the, the SmackDown brand because of the fact that he just couldn't win, like, how many times did we see Chris Jericho in the top of the rankings list on Raw? only to lose the number one contenders match or to lose that one big match that he needed to win to get himself a championship match or move him up to that next level. He just kept losing the big ones. So I don't think Mark Henry would need to fear Chris Jericho that much, to be honest, because Jericho is unable to win the big one. As I think the big show's in trouble here. And uh, Jericho takes him down there with a nice flying fist. Now he's going and he hits it a uh, splash over the top rope and uh, Jericho's got Big Show up oh code breaker that's it here we go Chris Jericho is going to knock off the Big Show big win for Jericho one <laughs> one Big Show kicking out at one. Oh, you've got to be kidding oh man Jericho unable to, to put the Big Show away there and now he's just trampling all over him so well, as I was saying, I mean, Chris Jericho, he had many times where, you know, he was the number one like number one in the rankings, and then in the number one contenders match, he lost. So there's been many times where he could have had pay-per-view opportunities for the WWE Championship. He could be WWE Champion right now. He could be Brock in Brock Lesnar's shoes, but um, he just wasn't able to get it done. So perhaps this trade over to the SmackDown brand will not only boost up SmackDown's kind of um, stars in the show, which I think was uh, very, very looking very, very good at the moment on SmackDown. I'm really uh, liking the, the rosters on both the shows. And not only that, we have Jericho, who hasn't been able to get it done on Raw. Perhaps he can get it done on SmackDown. Perhaps he can finally win that big matchup here on SmackDown. As he's got Big Show looking to put him in the walls. I think he's, he's got it. Will a Big Show tap? He didn't... Uh, he kicked out at one of the code breaker, but I think the Big Show's busted as well. He's got the blood dripping down his his forehead, and I think he gets to the rope. So Jericho has to break it up there. But uh, oh, another code breaker! Surely that's got to be it. Big Show's busted. Just put, just got put on the walls. He's already eaten the code breaker before. Here we go. This has got to be it. One, two. Oh my God! He kicked out again at two. Big Show, what can stop this man? I think maybe Jericho needs a third code breaker or something different to put the Big Show away. But just a two count and barely a two count at, at that. So Big Show, how dominant is he? And Jericho is certainly looking the best in this matchup. But we do know the Big Show is very resilient and he has come back from a lot of beatings to come back and win matches. So, And this just another two count there from Chris Jericho so my god Big Show is just holding on here just nobody can really stop this guy and Jericho placed down Big Show now he's got a submission oh, he's got the, has he got the arm there I think yeah and uh, he's working Chris Jericho's arm no he might have had the head actually I'm, I'm not sure I couldn't get a good look at that but but uh, G Chris Jericho dominating the Big Show but as, as I was saying, you know, Big Show's come back from a lot worse. Just go back to Extreme Rules. I already, I always mention this. Now they, oh, that was a close fall too. Just have to go back to Extreme Rules. Like I said, I always mention this, but he got his ass absolutely whooped from Alberto Del Rio. We all thought, yeah, Big Show's going to lose here, and he somehow won. Just came in after taking a beating, hit the choke slam, got it done. As he's got Jericho up. Oh, 
over the top. I thought he was going to whack him down with a big power bomb. I'm sure that would have put him away, but uh, Jericho flying over the top of the big show. He's going to go for a cover here, I think. Here we go. One. No. Jericho kicking out at one this time. So big show's got to do a lot more than that to put Jericho away, that's for sure. And there's a nice elbow right to the chest. And, uh, here we go again. Another one count. So Jericho staying alive. I really like the fact that there's a lot more close falls in this game. And I think the, the pinfalls in the game are much, much better. I mean, we used to get one counts for everything. But now it's, you know, a lot of twos. And, um, you know, when it's just an elbow or a punch to the face, you know, they kick out at one. You know, not, a, not a two and a half count. So it makes a lot of sense now in this game. So that's one feature I really, really like. And I'm uh, very glad they fixed as uh, Big Show taking down Chris Jericho once again. I think, yeah, he's going to have to drag him in the middle of the ring. But that could be it. Jericho's uh, not looking too flash here. One, two, no, just another kick out. This is a back and forth match. It was all Jericho. Now it's the Big Show. He's cocked that fist. Bang! Oh, that's it. The KO. Oh, get out of here. Big Show has won this match. How the hell did he win that? I do not know, but the Big Show has just sent a message to everyone in the back, and specifically Mark Henry, that he wants that World Heavyweight Championship. And Chris Jericho, once again, cannot win the big one. He needed that win, and he couldn't get it done. So, big matchup for the Big Show. Big win for the Big Show. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Universe Mode. And I'll, I don't think he's done yet. I think he's got to send a message. Yeah, he's pounding away on Chris Jericho. What a win for the big show. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, smash that like button. Let's get 30 likes again. And uh, make sure you subscribe because there's plenty more where that came from. Thanks, guys, for watching.